Hello, hi, and welcome to today's uh, video. Uh, gonna be a quick one. Um, following premise, I want to fool around a little bit with WinCC Unified. Therefore, I will show you the download link and everything soon. Um, therefore, I wanted to download and install it, but I could not install it on my PC without making adjustments. For everyone that's having the same troubles, I make this video and show you what to do. It's actually pretty simple, but you need to know what you do. Uh, yeah. There it is. I downloaded all the files and uh, I, I'm like, yeah, let's install this. Everything's fine. Next, sure. German for me, English for all my videos. Perfect. Just what I want. Uh, and now the problem was, here we go. There is a sim WinCC Unified Engineering and I cannot put the checkbox. Right? It is in there. It is in the installation, but I cannot put a, turn on the checkbox because for some reason, my Windows does not have the necessary features activated, which you can simply activate by a couple of mouse clicks. But I, well, it's strange that it isn't in the, in the beginning because I'm on my laptop where I already installed it. Everything was fine on the PC. Very strange. It's not on my, on my desktop PC. So to turn, to be able to turn these two on, which is the WinCC engineering and the simulation for unified, uh, which I need to work with WinCC unified. I assume I'm just installing, I'm a beginner on this as well, but I want to install it. Um, it actually tells you what to do. If I go here, if I select any of these, right, it tells me, uh, blah, 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 engineering tool for configuration of WinCC unified panels. That's what I want. Um, locked by parts of internet information service. Windows components are missing. Required components, static content, ASP, ASP.NET, ASP.NET 4 or 5 or higher. You can activate those. It tells me control panel software add Windows components. So we can't just add them. It, they are already in Windows. They're just not installed, which is very strange. So if you're having the same troubles, it's strange. That's how it is. But that, well, that's how it works. So here's what we do. We can just go to the start, hit control panel, which is in German Systemsteuerung, but it's control panel in English. Uh, I set my windows to English, but some parts are still German. It's very strange. Uh, then we have programs and features. Programme, yeah, programs and features. Here we go. And then on the top left, you see turn windows features on and off or on or off. Uh, you need to have administrative rights on your uh, PC. That's with the little shield there. And there we have it. And now we just need to search for the stuff here for ASP.NET, ASP.NET 4.5 or higher. Uh, so these are the ones that definitely make it work. I've tested it before. If you open .NET Framework, you have ASP.NET 4.8. This one is not a must. It works without activating this one. You, there's other ones you have to activate, but I still activate this because, well, why not? So just activate it. It's not, it doesn't really harm. And then the second one was in internet information services. <clears throat> in internet information services, sorry. <clears throat> uh, we can just put the checkbox and it turns on parts of the internet information service. I just click this checkbox, but it doesn't activate everything that we need actually. So if you open then web management tools, um, uh, no, the worldwide web services, Right, World Wide Web Services, and there's applications, you will find ASP.NET, we need 4.5 or higher. So if you've got 4.5, that's fine. If you've got higher, that's also fine. So I've got 4.8 here. I just click this checkbox and you see a lot of things actually activated. Right. So it's all linked to, to make this ASP.NET 4.8 run. Uh, whatever ISP does, I also enable this. So it's a web server on my PC. Not mandatory, but it's better if you have it. That's pretty much it. So I've got this activated, right? The the ASP Net 4.8, right? That's the that's the important one. I hit OK. Now Windows is actually installing these files. They're already in Windows, but they were not they they were not installed, right? They were not activated. So that's gonna take a minute. While I'm watching this bar, I forgot that this bar is here. Uh, and I don't want to cut the video. I'm way too lazy. I'm sorry for that. Um, while oh, we're applying changes. There we go. It is just a minute or so, depending on the PC speed. Uh, but it's not it's not that much time. So there we go. Almost done. A little bit, just a little bit more. Come on, tickle. I, I'm going to tickle it. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Come on, come on. Do it. I, I do not like those graphs that are like, uh, and then just wait in the end. There's reasons. I understand that there's reasons, but I don't like it. Go. 
If you do not hurry, I have to cut the video, the video and you don't want me to do this, do you? Go. <laughs> Thank you. So the changes, as I said, it's just a minute or so, not even. Um, yeah, the Windows completed the request of changes. You can close and they are already activated now. Right? They're already active. So you don't need to restart the PC. Of course, it's always better to restart the PC, but you don't need to. If I now go to back, right, to the beginning and I go next and next, what I would have expected is that I can now actually select these, which I cannot. I have to rerun the installation. You don't have to restart the PC. You have to rerun the uh, the the, the um, installation. So I just finished this. Yeah, it's finished. I know. Now I'll just rerun it. So those are the files I've downloaded. I will show you the link in a minute. Those are the files I have downloaded. There we go. Starting them. All right. Next. I want the setup language to be English, sure. And it wants to extract files. This extraction is not the installation yet. It's just putting all the files that it needs for the installation out of those archives into one folder where it can work with it for the installation. How do you get these files? There is the, I will put a link in the description below with the installation for TIA version 16 because Unified is as far as I know, only available in version 16 and newer. Um, the link is in the description below. This says trial download. If you download these files, you've got 21 days with the with TIA version 16, which is enough for me uh, because I just want to check out Unified for now. And that's it. And 21 days are more than enough. Um, yeah, I've heard that Unified is quite complex, but I'll find out. Um, there's two different ones. If you scroll down, there's trial download step seven professional, there's trial download step seven professional. They are both the same. They're not exactly the same. The one on top says WinCC basic comfort advanced and unified. The bottom one just says professional. It's the following. If you download the top one, you will have WinCC unified. If you download the bottom one, you will not have WinCC unified. You will have WinCC professional, which as far as I understand, is not including WinCC Unified. So if you want to play around with WinCC Unified for now, you will have to download the upper one. That's the one I have. Download these four files here. And this is the setup. This is the setup for the um, for Tier Portal. That's all you need. Just these four files. That's what I have on my desktop. Four files, four files. Then as soon as you've downloaded it, just run the executable and that's exactly what I did. And then the installation just starts. It takes a minute to boot up. As you see, I'm currently at 19% and then it's going like brrr, fast again. This is just opening the um, installation right now. And as soon as it's opened, I can show you, we can just select the boxes for WinCC Unified because we have the necessary Windows packages installed now. Good. 95 percent well it goes like zero 30 waits 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 wait wait 40 50 90 it waits <laughs> i don't like those installations so now i go next i go next and now i am able to select the WinCC unified for engineering right and that's exactly what i want those are the packages i need for uh, not those um not these the, let me check tools. No, uh, what's this? Your auto view? No, not needed. These are the files I, I will need for running and uh, engineering WinCC Unified. I'll just go next and stuff and so on and so on. But this settles the issues that I had, right? Of course, there's no uh, certificate management, I but I would basically just click, 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 right? I will just click, 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 click. Uh, use a, a password. I will use my password that I just use. Yeah, God damn it! I made a spelling mistake. Right, you will definitely need those all these files later on. Right, but in the beginning, oh, it's unsecure but valid. My password is perfect. Please. Right, it's gonna archive everything there. Secure download. Sure, I'll take the same. Ah, uh, no, I definitely have a different password. I could also deactivate the secure download, but I want to test everything. So I definitely want to activate it for now. Maybe I'll deactivate it later. There we go. I accept everything. Sure. And now it's gonna accept this. 
And now it's gonna install, you see it, uh, somewhere it is, TR Openers, no, Simulation, there it is, WinCC Unified on my PC. And now I can play around, fool around with WinCC Unified. I hope the next videos will be about that because I'm looking forward to WinCC Unified. I have not really worked with it, but I got in contact with it and now I, uh, I'm hooked. I wanna see what it really is. So the next videos are gonna be about exactly that. Good, that's pretty much it. Um, if you want to help me out, you know the drill. There is this website in the link. Link is in the description below. 1,200 bucks. That's insane. Thanks, John. Thanks, Anonymous. Thanks, Zeos. Thanks, Anonymous. <laughs> Thanks, Jinan. Uh, if you want to assist me, just toss some coin my direction using the link in the description below. If not, perfectly fine. Just leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Do not forget to stay safe. Do not forget to stay healthy. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.